tell me, like, here's what I know. I, I don't know a lot about you, but I see these yep. amazing pictures of the meal plan and you're cooking for like a, a tribe of people. You're cooking for That's... so many people. So, so your family must be huge. So just, can you tell us, tell me a little bit about your family and how many people you're actually cooking for every night? <laughs> Yeah, you bet. Uh, so we're uh, cooking for seven people every night. Um, my wife and I, we have five beautiful daughters, uh, age 12 and under. So 12, 11, 11, seven, and four. So Ooh, I'm tired. Just I'm tired. Just uh, having you list through all your beautiful daughters. <laughs> yeah. It's, so yeah, so we're, we're, uh, we're cooking meals, healthy meals all the time and starts with breakfast, right? So we're, uh, all, all the way through. So we were looking for something that uh, to kind of change change it up. We had done Power Bowls for about three, four months. And we were looking for some, you know, every weekend we'd spend a few hours looking at a recipe. And then you'd write a whole bunch of stuff down. You'd go to a grocery store. And you know how it works. I mean, there's a reason why you created what you did. Um, you found a, found a niche that was needed. And it's it was well needed. Um, we'd go there and it would be unsuccessful every time. You'd come home, you'd forget this, forget that. Um, at least when you're batching, it's half done. So there's no way you're going to change from that plan for the week. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a, well, first of all, it's like a commitment. It's a commitment. And when you're committed to something like it, it, it usually pans out better, but I'm just, I'm just really, you know, I, I hear people even, okay. So even myself, I have like, there's two people in my household and sometimes like even batching for just me and, and Luann, I'm like, Oh, you know, this is like, a lot of work and I see your your beautiful photos and like that's just like that's crazy so I think that it's it's really good to hear this because the thing that I hear so often is like batch cooking is a lot of work and eating healthy is a lot of work and you're doing this like times seven so so how long have, has your family um your video went out just now and it's okay I'm gonna keep talking maybe it'll pop back up but how long has your family been plant-based so in May of May 13th of this past year, um, I had a health scare. Um, thankfully, it was nothing. Um, I ended up, uh, it was just a wake-up call, right? Like I've yo-yo dieted. Um, my family's always ate fairly healthy. And it's funny, um, I was the one half the time prepping those healthy meals anyways. It's just that I would end up running back to the office. And next thing you know, it's 10, 11 o'clock at night. I remembered what I made instead of coming home and reheating it and making more dishes again, rip through the quick drive through stuff, my face, come home, go to bed, repeat it again, repeat it again. Um, so my, you know, raising, uh, children, we've always been very health conscious for them. And unfortunately my health took the toll just cause I was focusing on just, just, just the family, making sure everybody was good, but I was just, it was lazy. I was in a rut that, uh, just to be honest, it was so much easier for me to, like I said, roll through, drive through. Um, but May 13th, we made a, a conscious effort to be a part of it and uh, start to share stuff of what we're doing and, and not look back, right? Like uh, make sure that we're making a, a real difference. My kids still do um, eat the odd uh, meat meal. Um, we try to make sure that it's as, as healthy as possible, obviously. But there's times where we go out uh, to Earl's. Or a, or a restaurant and you know what it's open game the menu order whatever you want my wife and i obviously uh pick a plant-based meal but uh we'll let kids be kids right um for for, for 95 percent of the time to, to hone them into eating this and and they know how good it makes them feel um to let them have that one that one meal is not uh, going to be that detrimental Totally. I, I don't have kids, like I said, but I agree with that totally. And I think that that's a very healthy way to look at it. So are, do they like the meal plan food generally? I mean, I know that kids can be really picky, but are there, is there protesting? Do you do separate <laughs> meals for them if they don't like it? Like, how do you manage that? No, you eat it. Uh, what's made for you is in front of you. You eat nice. it, whether you like it or not. Um, you know, there's times where we're forcing them a little bit more than the other. And, and you know what? Sometimes it's because they, they had some snack left over from school that they ate on the way home in the back seat and they're not as hungry. Other days, you know, they're starving and they eat it in one seconds and thirds and fourths. So just, just like any kids, um, I'll be honest, our, our kids have got fairly uh, open palates. They will try anything. 
And that's the best part about it. And, and that's what I said. We, we don't, you know, ever since our kids were little and they could eat solid foods, they ate what we ate. Um, mm. We don't make special meals for our kids. There's a lot of families, unfortunately, that have an adult meal and kids meals that are chicken fingers and cheese sticks and whatever, because it's easy, right? Mm. It's hard. You know, our meals can sometimes take an hour because we're saying, no, you have to eat this and this is why. And we go through and explain what that would be feeding in your body and fueling. We talk about all that stuff and, you know, it's getting easier as they're getting older for sure. But there was times where, like I said, you'd sit there and have a meal and it would last an hour and a half co- coercing them to, to eat the healthy food. Right. So it's yeah. not easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. And I mean, I imagine like, even if you weren't eating plant-based or following the meal plans, like dinner time probably wouldn't be easy anyways, <laughs> no, <laughs> just because no. there, there's so many of you, right? Like it's, there always be things that they didn't like, like it's going to be the, the, the same just now it's like with different food. So, yep. you know, but that shows a real commitment to what, what you and your wife are doing. And I think that's really cool that you're offering like that, the offering the educational piece to your girls too, to help them understand like why you're eating like this. That's really, that's really awesome. So good job right with you and your, your wife, you're great parents. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we yeah. try. Yeah, totally. So, okay. Let's talk about like batch day, because I know that yep. for, for the meal plans, you, you scale up to, well, now that you can scale the meal plans up, is it, you and your wife in the kitchen? Do you have any of your kids helping with anything? Do you have anyone helping you? How does that look? It depends. Depends on you. Usually, we try to do it on uh, on Sunday, and um, we'll get everything rocking and rolling. I'll take kids to cheerleading, go through, do a grocery run, come home, and then we've usually got about a two hour window. So my wife and I will start on it. She helps with a lot of the prep work, so getting stuff ready, and I'll be over there um putting everything together basically i've got two measuring cups and i start throwing in all the spices and add things uh, uh take stuff in and out of the oven the vitamix all that and then one of us heads and gets kids and the other one stays and kind of organizes and then we we finish it usually takes us about three hours four hours to to complete um, and then if it, if if our kids are there um wh- whoever's there they always jump in um, I'm not going to say there, you know, it, it can add an extra hour, but if they want to be involved, um, Hey, we're, we're all, we're all for that. We want them to be a part of that. And if they're, if they also want to stay downstairs and do somersaults, that's totally cool too. So, <laughs> wow. You're so, you guys are so easy, easy going and laid back. That's awesome. And it sounds like you really have like your routine, you know what to do. Like your wife knows what to do. You're this team, you're cohesive, you get it done. Like it's, it's, it's almost like playing sports. It, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going com- <laughs> complete organized chaos is, is, uh, and, and we also, uh, we own a, a few fairly large companies that have 120 plus employees on each one. So, I mean, between running, running, organizing all, all of that plus organizing the household, I mean, it's, it, it is chaotic here all the time, but we love it. Right. Yeah. It must be just like from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, just like on, just yes. on. Yeah. So, well, and that, that leads me to this, like, how are you feeling since March? How have you been feeling since then? Have you, is, do you have more energy to do the thing, all the things that you have to do in a day? A hundred, a hundred percent. I, I, I've dropped 95 pounds as of now. So, um, a lot of it is, I mean, yeah, just clean eating. I also quit drinking. Um, all, all of that, good, all of that good stuff. And, and I'm working out and I'm taking time for myself. So, you know, there was lots of times I'd go to my office and I thought I had to be there all the time. Um, you know, we've worked our butt off for the last 16 years to make sure we have wonderful managers there. Now I don't have to go there as much. So I'm taking, you know, some time for myself and uh, my wife and my family. I, I have more energy than I've ever had, obviously losing 95 pounds. I mean, that's, that's a huge thing. Um, playing squash two to four times a week. Um, my wife and I are doing a lot of videos at home, working out, and just, just overall. I mean, yeah, I've I've never felt better in my entire life. I have people asking me all the time what I'm doing, how things are going, and there's you know friends, family, everybody wants to be a part of it. As as you know, my mom and dad, I I gifted them a subscription to the uh, Clean Food Dirty Girl uh, uh, meal plans as well. So and and 
it was hilarious. I mean, for my dad to do this, I'm sure, you know, I'm the only one that can see how funny it truly is, but I also know how funny it truly is to have me doing what I'm doing. Right. Like, so it, it's, uh, but, but to have my dad be excited about going out, getting groceries and go home. My mom is just beside herself. I mean, <laughs> that's so awesome. Oh, I love it. So how, how was their diet before they started doing this? So again, my mom, healthy uh always you know uh, lo- looking for all nutritious ways to add good food to every meal and my dad like me meat and potatoes and we'll throw some veggies off to the side if we have to eat it i guess to appease mom we'll we'll make it go down um but now we've embraced it fully i mean and and, and having flavors that actually make sense and go together well has been a, a wonderful compliment on that too right it makes it that much easier yeah, well, the food has to taste good, right? Because we have to eat. <laughs> like, without, you know, without question. Yeah, yeah. So if it doesn't taste good, it's not going to be as sustainable or as exciting or as like enjoyable because it's just not tasty. So the flavor thing is so, so important. So how what does your dad think about all this now? Is he, is he getting on board? Is he enjoying it? Is he seeing any benefits from it? He's done every shop and every meal prep since they started. And my, like I said, my oh. mom is... Like she's, she's texting me, what is going on? This is hilarious. Like, <laughs> so, so yeah. And they, um, we, we live just outside the city and they live on a quarter section of land just across the way. So it's kind of funny. We're, we're all, we're all pretty close in this little area. So. Well, that's so, so cool that you could share that with them and that your dad was really able to get on board and get excited about it. Like not every uh, dad would do that. So, and especially like the, like not only eating of it, but actually participating and being involved. Well, there's, they're seeing the results, right. And at the end of the yeah. day, um, you know, another reason why I jumped on board is my, the family history on, on my dad's side is not good. Um, you know, when, when his older brother turned 60, there was a huge celebration because he was like the oldest living Brewster ever. So mm-hmm. that's not good. I mean, so we're trying to out, outdo these uh, wonderful genes that we get. And I think that it is doable. Um, if you were to talk, you know, talk to people directly like about doing this and, and, you know, if they have hesitations or fears about doing this, kind of what would you tell them? Oh, boy. Well, <sighs> You know, they, at, at the end of the day, um, like, like it's said, it's said a million times on your website, but you have to trust the process. There wouldn't be as many followers as there are if it didn't a taste good B work and, and, and C, I mean, I, and I'm not going to lie to anyone and, and, and I know you don't either. Nobody says it's easy. Um, nobody says that, uh, you know, but, but things that, things that you want shouldn't be easy. Things like this. Um, this is feeding your body. This is the most important thing of your life without, yeah. without the proper nutrients going in, everything else sucks. You're going to be like, you're, you're a different person. So to take the time for yourself to do those preps, um, call that, that's an investment. It's no different than yeah. getting on that treadmill. It's no different than doing all that. So I would just say, you know, take that plunge, trust the process try that. Uh, I never did try the sample meal plan, but it sounds, it, it sounds amazing. Um, I just, I'm, I, I'm a, uh, a very uh, committed individual. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I stick to it and I'll, I'll never stray. Um, so I, I just, I would say just trust the process, give it a shot and you will, uh, you will see the results. Yeah. It's, yeah, you can't not. And you're right. The things that you want, the things that you really, really want shouldn't be easy and they aren't easy. Otherwise, you wouldn't nope. really want them because you'd have them. You, you yep. know, I mean, that's just there. There's there's that really sweet feeling that you get and that really like that satisfaction of doing something that's challenging, you know, and, yes. and, and laying down at night thinking like, you know, I fed, I fueled my body. I helped my my family eat really well. And that's like, that's something to be really, really proud of. And that feeling of being that, that feeling of pride, like you can't buy that, you know, no. there's no money can no. put on that. And the other well, really cool thing. Oh, go ahead. No. And, oh, and the feeling that you have just, just by fueling yourself with that. I mean, you, yes. you yes. can't, you can't, you can't, de- you can't deny that. You know, I have another guy that I play squash with who's on day four of eating a plant-based diet. And today playing squash, he says, I've never felt lighter in the, in the court. And th- this is not a very unfit 
human. He's a very, you look at him and he, he's a, he's a fit guy. Um, and he just, he just said, you know, I, I have watched what you've done. I see how much energy and I'm never tired. Like I have more energy than I've ever had in my entire life. Um, I, playing squash for, you know, two, two and a half hours at a time. Um, it's one of the hardest sports mm-hmm. out there and, and people have a hard time doing it for half an hour and I, and I could mm-hmm. keep going. So it, it's, it's amazing. The difference. It, it is crazy how much energy you have. Like it, it's, it is, I never, you know, to, I see people like taking a nap or feeling tired when they wake up or feeling tired throughout the day. And I'm like, I don't, I don't ever feel tired. Like that feeling no. does not ever happen. And it's so obvious too. And that, um, and it also goes to show like just how your buddy was doing this for four days and he already noticed it, like a, you know, in, increased energy, but it's true. It happens really quick. I mean, the body is this like amazing thing that, that goes into the self repair mode when it's given the right fuel and it happens yeah. fast, man. Like it happens Absolutely. quicker than uh, medications happen and medications can't do all the things that plants can do <laughs> for the common no. lifestyle related things anyway. So Anyways, that's awesome. And what I really, what I was going to say is like, I really love that um, your, your healthy lifestyle has really, or changing your diet has really become this lifestyle and you quit drinking and, and playing more squash and being more active. Like, isn't that so yeah. true that when you change one, you adopt one new healthy habit, usually other ones kind of come to, to pass as well because you're feeling yeah. really good. And so one, you know, one it's kind of like a domino effect. So that's very cool. And, and I'm even trying, it, it, it's one of the funniest sights you'd ever see, but I'm attempting yoga and other things at home with the wife. And it's just, it's funny, you know, I'll, I'll be trying a move and my kids will come over, lay down and no dad, it's like this. And they fold up like a little pretzel and I'm sitting there having a hard time crossing my legs. Right. Like it's just, but it's, you know, every, every day forward. And, uh, I I'm resetting goals every, you know, every week and I'm knocking them out of the park. So I, I love it and I'm not going to look back. So. Fabulous. And it's like this whole other, it's this whole new world to you too, Absolutely. like doing all this yoga and this, it's like, I love it. I love it. Uh, kind of watching and observing people's journey through, through this. And even like when people are first eating plant-based and they go to the grocery store and it's like so overwhelming to find all these ingredients and you kind of watch this process. And then, you know, a month into it, it's like, yeah, I know what like ume plum vinegar is. I know where the dulce is. <laughs> And it's like, it really is this whole new world that like people never knew is out there. And then once it like blows people's minds. <laughs> and, and honestly, the kindest humans I've ever met in my life. Um, just, just, uh, you know, it changes your shopping habits too. I'm at the local health store um, where people, I, you know, I hate to say, give, they fucking give a shit about their life, right? Like they, yeah. they truly do. They're not, you know, they're not trying to get to a Sam's club and buy the cheapest thing that they can and run out the side door. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it is, it's wonderful, wonderful humans. I can't say enough about that. Yeah. It's so true because you're, it's, it's a whole other, it's a whole new, um, like the energy that people are vibrating when they switch to this way of eating and this way of living. It's, it, it's a completely different point like like world view I guess yep. and it comes yep. with this whole different energy and it's true like if I go to um like let's say even just Safeway and I go to yep. like let's say my local health food store like there is a noticeable difference of just the shoppers and and how healthy they are but how happy they are you That's, know yeah I you know, I, I find myself, unfortunately, I, you know, I'm not a judgmental person, but I sit there and I, I'm looking at people's carts as I as I'm pushing my green cart up to the till and, and I'm looking back and I'm looking at them going, wow, you're going to feel like shit this week. Like, you know, I look at and it's not I just look at their cart. I'm not even looking at them. Yeah. I'm looking at the, what, what's in their cart and I'm going to go, wow, you are you are not going to feel good this week. Like I just and well, there's, you know. there's so well, many. You know, because you were there. <laughs> That's a hundred percent. So, and, and that was my cart, not that long, long ago either. Right. So. Right. And for we all myself. Have to, yeah. <laughs> like, and we all have to start somewhere, but it's true. I mean, there's just, when you, like, you can't unknow this stuff. Like once you start nope. doing this and once you feel the difference that it makes, it's like, you can't, you, it's like once you quit drinking and you stop having hangovers and you're like free of that, it's like, Oh, why would I ever go back like there's no yep. way you know there's and- not a there's there's not a chance and, and, and the other part is is and I never drank 
uh, I never had a drinking problem, so to speak, but just like anything, when I drank, I went out and I drank, like it was like, it was a race. Right. So I, I don't, I don't miss that at all. Um, after squash, I'm now the designated driver. We go out if it's a, uh, we play every Thursday night in a league. So now I drive, you know, six, seven people home. No big deal. I just don't drink. It's awesome. And that's, I mean, that's exactly why that, you know, this is a, a lifestyle because it's not just changing how you eat, it's just changing how you see the world, how you feel, and what else you do with your life. So I, I agree tenfold. When you first started the meal plans, like, was there any tools that you had to get or any, any tricks or anything that, that you found that made it easier? Like, just because you're, you're cooking so much food, like, do you have like two instant pots, for example? Do you have a vitamin? <laughs> like, what is your kitchen? Yes. Like? Yeah. I, I, we have, uh, uh, two by three Vitamixes, but I'm giving one to mom and dad. I just got the new uh, A3500, I think it is. That's uh -huh. wow, what a, what an amazing one. Um, and we have uh, three instant pots. One of them is that new Ninja foodie that does the air frying as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and, and and honestly, there's times where I'm doing the batching, is, and as you know, you've got three things to cook. So I've got three instant pots rocking on the side, and then we just store the stuff downstairs. I have a a uh, nice big bar downstairs mm -hmm. so that's now our where i keep my food dehydrator and we keep all of our you know our juicers and the extra i keep one pressure cooker upstairs but we keep all the batching stuff downstairs in the cupboards right so it's not overtaking our kitchen but yeah we have every kitchen gadget that you can imagine just to try and uh, make this process a lot easier as well as like a food processor to do chopping and dicing and cutting and all yeah, that fun stuff. Yeah. So yes, that's really helpful because I mean, really, slicing and dicing and chopping. I mean, that takes like eighty percent of the time. You know, the yes. onions and the carrots and the bell peppers and like a food processor. You just put that stuff in, pulse it up, and and go. I mean, that makes that's a that's a great tip. So, um, yeah, I have three and some pots. Hey, make it work. You know, however you yep. can make it work. Well, and they're <laughs> you know they're. They're not overly expensive too. You know, your health is, like I said, to me, again, health is an investment. Um, you watch for those instant pots. They show up on Amazon or, or any site. All of a sudden they're out for 60 bucks. I saw somebody advertising or not advertising, but sharing that on your page yesterday that yeah. uh, an instant pot was, was super cheap, right? So you just, you just wait for it. Watch for it to come out and away you go. Yeah, exactly. And also like getting kitchen gadgets at thrift stores or do it like watching a Facebook marketplace, like where... It, wherever you live like you can get really good yep. deals there like there's 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 always a way to make it work and I always tell people like when people say it takes up too much time or it's too expensive I say like you know it doesn't take as much time as like type 2 diabetes would it's not going to be as expensive as you know getting on um cholesterol medication it's it's just it's, it's your body yeah. and you said it right from the beginning like this this is the you know this body of ours like we get to live in this body. We have to take care of it because this is the one that we get. Like that's it. <laughs> that's 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 right. Um, we talked about you were talking about expenses. You know, yeah. tip typically, I, I know what my meals have cost us forever, and I we're not off um, by purchasing all the stuff to feed seven off the meal plans. Um, I'm not. You know, I would say it's right on par to what we paid before for groceries if not actually less. And the reason is there's no meat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and, and, and meat is a huge expense. And I don't think people realize that, you know, they, they look, they look into stuff, but I, I think the, yes, are, are fresh vegetables and stuff expensive? You know, absolutely. They can be depending on where you live. Um, like we live in Northern Alberta, Canada. We live as far away from fresh vegetables and fruits as possible. Right. So, yeah. um, but even then, um, meats are still more expensive. So I, I, I would argue with anyone who said eating healthy is expensive. It is more expensive than going to McDonald's and getting a hamburger. Absolutely. But you can't do that every day either, right? You won't. So just, just anyone who said that it's too expensive to eat this way, I, I, I would argue with that. Yeah, I would too. And I think, I think a lot of people who, who have that argument either a haven't tried it like the way that the meal plans are set up you know if people yes. are buying vegan convenience foods and, and frozen vegan pizzas every night then yeah like that is going to be more expensive but <laughs> shop from the bulk bins and to buy beans and grains and you know spices um you know compared to meat and packaged foods it's not yeah. it's like it's just not but the, the, the problem is that not you know people aren't used to being in their kitchen anymore like 
No, that's that's Most right. People have no idea what to do with dried pinto beans. <laughs> so, <laughs> anything else that you want to tell people, or anything else that you just want to um, share? I guess the very first thing is if if they want to make a change. Um, you know, it's no different than anything, no different than quitting smoking, no different than quitting drinking. Um, it all starts with you. You have to want to do it. If you don't want to do it, don't hold off on the meal plans because I, and I just hold off, wait a month or two, yeah. wait till you're ready and then do it. Because the last thing you want to do is, is give the free meal plan a shot with a, uh, a made up mind that was going to fail already wait till you're ready to do it. And then once you are embrace it and you'll never stop, um, I, I, everything, it all starts with you and you have to be ready to do it. Once people want to, like, that's when it, like, you're so right. That's when it'll work. It'll click and people yep. will get excited about it. So I think that's a great piece of advice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Have a, have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too.